looking at me i'm looking back hi you all how are you welcome back to our channel hope you're having a wonderful day so far our candy video was so popular that everybody asked us where we got the candy from what it tastes like and what it was like so today we're doing decades candy ranging all the way from the 1960s to the 1990s if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to see more of us eat different candies from all over the place, please let us know. We got this all off Amazon, but they originally buy a vintage candy co. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Moving on to the 1980s. Where will I tell you what eventful things happened in the 1980s? Starting off with Mount St. Helen erupts in Washington State. John Lennon is shot and died. Ronald Reagan is elected our president. Pac-Man is finally released. And Lady Diana and Prince Charles of Wales get married. The AIDS virus is identified virus in the U.S. by scientists. Motorola releases her first mobile phone in the U.S. in 1983. Discovery of the remains of the Titanic. The Nobel meltdown happened in the 1980s. And then we have the Rubik's Cube craze. And then the first personal computer is developed. The, about music, the recording of We Are of We're the World. The first MTV Awards also happened. And Michael Jackson debuts his famous glove. In terms of fashion, I, I don't really remember a lot of fashion, but there was a lot of big hair, there was spandex, there was ripped knees, which are again back into focus. There were lacy lacy shirts, leg warmers, not just for warming, just for style, high waistband jeans, neon colors, and the mullets made their presence in the 80s. Wow, what an event for year. Yeah, so let's wrap it up for the 80s now. Okay, so let's unbox the 1980s box. So I just want to talk about how this little sleeve, it's so cute, where it has like little Pac-Man and the 80s. And this ties in perfectly what we were talking about with the Rubik's Cube craze and how Pac-Man was just released. Here, let me help you just slide this out. Oops. It is stuck. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I tore okay, it. That's a fine. Super strong. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. I see something that I like. Whoa. So this is the box with all the candy in there. Ooh, Waffy Taffy Banana, I know that. I see something that I really, really like. I love, like, uh, bubble gum, but of course I can't eat this. Well, I suddenly remember this bubble ribbon. I mean, we, were, we used to love eating this. We would open it, and this entire thing was a ribbon. Let me just show it to you. Um, uh, you it actually, comes out as a ribbon, and you eat pieces of this ribbon, and it's actually bubble gum. You can still buy this, by the way. And I yeah. don't know if they can handle it, but these are one of my favorites, Warhead Sours. Yeah, no thank you. But instead, I see this push, up, push pop with this really funny face on it. <laughs> oh, wow. And while you're opening that, I think Jan can go ahead and open, what is this? A Roundup candy. I actually Maybe don't know what this is. Maybe more candy cigars. Maybe more candy cigars. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. What is that? Do you want me to help you? Yes, please. You I also see a lot of things that we got from the last package, like these Boston baked yeah. peanuts and these red hots, and also this little candy and these little nuggets. Ring pop as well. Tons of pixie sticks and also this smarty necklace. And I see the wax lips are back. Wow. Mm -hmm. And also, okay. I don't know if you've ever had these, but these are so good. Yes. These are basically sour candy. Yeah, would you like one? Yes, please. Well, while they've been doing that, I've been messing around with this push pop, which it just opens, closes, opens, closes. Sorry, I have to go off camera to open this because this was absolutely refusing to open. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Like bubble gum. Yeah, another pack of candy cigars. Oh, okay. The push pop is weird. Mm -hmm. What is this? Okay, so what? There's five different flavors. And they seem like that same chalk kind of Yeah, candy. I think we're going to pass I on that. I think I'm going to pass on that. I see something that I really like. <gasps> I love heard. these nerds, especially these flavors. And we have some more repeats. Pop Rocks and Sour Patch. 
Well, while Jan is going to get that box open, I found Airheads. This is my all-time one of my favorite candies. And this is actually a mystery one. <laughs> Come. And it looks like Jan's just about to have that nerds packed open. It's very hard if you actually think about it. So this actually had a certain way of doing it, but I'm not that strong, so I just tore it open. And it has like these little two holes right here. Mm, I love strawberries. Would you like one? Can I have strawberries? If anybody care for an update, um, this is strawberry or orange yeah. or watermelon. Any one of the players. I'm not really good at telling. No. Skittles. I love Skittles with a burning passion. Oh. Some of my favorites. Mom, I see you haven't gotten to anything. Um, yeah, I'm, I was trying to see what what this is. It's um, it says runs. This is a candy. It says candy flavor with other natural flavors. So let's see how this opens. Oh, that is interesting. It is candy, but it's shaped like fruits. Orange is like this, a banana like this, so I didn't even taste of that flavor. I don't really mm. care for things like that because they're just so hard. I feel like mm -hmm. they break on my teeth, but you guys can enjoy them. What, what is this? Isha, why don't you take a look at this? What is this? Tart tiny. Again, it looks like chalk. Either they're really... I can't find it. Either these candies are supposed to be, um, either these candies are supposed to taste like chalk or they really like chalk. Uh, and uh -huh. then we found this. It says Big League Chew. It's bubble gum, so of course we won't be opening it now. And here's another chocolate thing. We all know how this tastes like, but what caught my eye is this thing called the cow tail. It's called, it says it's caramel with a chocolate center. Oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> Can you see that? Whoa! Is it good? Yeah, mm. it oh, wait, that's amazing. Okay, I finally got a little bit more open, so. I'm currently eating chalk. Oh, that's good! Mm. Let me try that. I can eat that all day. It's caramel filled with white chocolate. Mm. Oh my god, John, you have to try this. This Two is my really favorite good. things in the world. Yes! Mm -hmm. After you don't finish that, I'm gonna be smoking I think that this, later. This, is, this is my favorite. Here. Like, this is my favorite yes. diet. Yeah, put that aside for now. So that's that's all for the 1980s, Ooh. and let's move on to the 1990s. Woo, yeah, woo, yeah. Woo. So now we're moving on to the 1990s, our last one, unfortunately. So what happened in the 1990s? My dog is pulling my leg, but that's not what happened in the 90s. 90s. What happened was that Berlin Wall was torn down and reunification of East and West Germany again happened. The Hubble Space Telescope was placed into orbit by Charles Discovery and sent the first pictures of space. And there was a major earthquake in Iran which killed over 50,000 people. Now we're moving on to the music. Boy bands ruled the world apparently. And then we also have a bunch of TV shows like Friends, movie, Go. The most famous movie of the time was Ghost, and there was a famous quote. Why don't you tell us about it, Isha? Keep the change, you filthy animal, from this home alone. <laughs> now for fashion, we had overalls with just one strap. You wonder how those didn't fall down. And frosted tips. I also want to mention the famous songs of the 1990s. The first one was End of the Road by Boris to Men. Hold on by Wilson Phillips. And I will always love, love you. By Whitney Houston. <laughs> so that was what the 90s, 90s were about. So let's get on with the unboxing. So I'm just going to rip this open. I have no patience. Ooh. Oh. Let's I see a lot of stuff that I think I would usually see. So this is the box for the 1990s. Mm. A lot of the stuff I think is same as the 1980s, I but we can get on. Changed. No, there is a lot changed. Besides oh, these, I knew, I know these really came popular. The baby bottles and a few. What, what is in that? I have Sour. never seen this. Can I, should I open it? Why That's don't you open that while you show, while you show us what so this is? So I have never seen this, but I think I saw a commercial on it like a while, while, while back. So it's called Sneaky Star Stardust, 
and it's a gum powder. So basically you put some powder into your mouth and then you start chewing it or like just swishing it around your mouth until it turns into a solid. Oh wow. Because we can't really try this on camera, but we will be trying it off. I can't believe that, really. Okay. I've never yeah. even heard of it. And it's sour shopping flavor. Okay, so just like it's, it looks like a baby bottle, but instead you take, it's covered in the powder, you take this, it's really sticky, so you just put a little bit of it in here. I wouldn't put too much, but you know, i put a little bit on there. That's like a baby soda, like, ooh. And that's strawberry. I'm gonna open this thing. I actually remember this from my childhood. Oh, Mom would never let me get this because it is literally pure flavored sugar. So I'm so lucky. This is my favorite flavor, blue raspberry. Oh yeah. You basically took this, you had your finger. Oh, it's probably it's locked. a toothpaste again. It's like the toothpaste, but it's not. It's jelly. Mm. It's basically a jelly consistency. It's just pure sugar and flavoring. We and I love this when we were a kid. Take a little squirt yeah. on your finger. I don't remember ever giving this to you. Oh, you didn't. Um, uh, Dad did. Oh. Okay, somebody is in trouble. <laughs> so I've never tried this and I don't think I am because it says extra sour candy. I can't really take sour stuff. So Ria, would you like to try this? Of course. Everybody knows me. I am a sucker for sour things. I have heard cry baby tears. And they're not even sour. Okay. I found this glow stick lollipop with popping candy. Um, so we're just gonna open this up. And while I open this up, someone else can go. This is my other favorite. Candy. This is Sour Punch. There's a lot of same candy, Sour Punch, Jelly Belly, mm. Pop Rocks, Fun Dip, uh, Ring Pop. Uh, these are quite the same as what we had tried earlier. It's Sour a, Patch. It's a lot of repeating mm. candy. Uh, Skittles, of course. That's just to show that they uh, taste this taste much during the time. Nerds so, I'm actually things. really happy that I got this open. Can you and open basically, the ending stick is a glow stick. So, let's see if I can okay. powder it off. And let's see if I can snap it. Enjoy some help. Uh, yeah. And one more. Oh, it is, it is glowing. You just can't see it because of the light. Ah, so yeah. the end part is a glow stick and then you have a lolly on top. And you have really popping powder, which is pop rocks. And Isha just, uh, sorry, Ria just gave me this high chew. chew. Is, this, is it chewing gum? gum? yes. Yes. Okay, so this is a chewing gum. Uh, well, I want to try this. It's in a it's strawberry wrapper. Right it looks like a strawberry cough drop. Oh, yeah. no. I tried the glow stick pop rocks and it actually tastes really good. And now I found this push pop, which I think we saw Isha with it. This is a different flavor. This is strawberry. And while she's opening that, I can tell you what this is. This is Maha Sar. I don't know what it is. It's probably some kind of candy of some kind. I don't think it's a chewing gum. We got the goods open. Is it good? That is pretty good. Okay. Like, would you like one? Oh, this is coming out. Okay. Yeah, that was good. I'm sorry. I got distracted while they were doing it. I found spray candy. So oh I'm my God. I'm sorry. Spray candy? I'm just putting all the sticky things in this bag for now. You see a lot of repeating things. I'm going to shake this a bit and then we are uh, your every can that so. Did you get something? I got more on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. No. I'm good. There is so much little extra candy. And there is a lot of uh, different kinds of pop here. Um, I've never seen this. Toxic waste. Yes. It's a little candy. Not at all. So and I'm not seeing this. So, let's just open this real quick. And while I'm doing this, someone else can go. I think that's about it. I think that's the only candy that we need to try because a lot of this was similar to uh, uh, what we had tried earlier. Oh, you think? Yep. The green color gets all away. Shall I try it? No, you, you give it a lick. Oh. Is it, it a sour? Water? I mean, it's not that sour. It is watermelon flavored. Mm. Well, oh, toxic waste. I love toxic waste. Well, I guess we're done with here. So we're done with the 90s. 
So in conclusion, uh, I think uh, the candies were very interesting to try. There was obviously a lot of overlap because of course from one decade to the next, a lot of candy carries forward or whatever is popular carries forward. And some of the candies that were there in the 70s were also seen in the 90s. But it was an interesting experience trying candies from different decades. What yeah. did you think, Rhea? I think this really shows how much people love the oldies, like Sour Patch Kids. This is one of the most sold candies in the U.S. And it came all the way from the 1960s. 60s. 60s. Yeah. It shows how much candy hasn't really changed while still evolving so much. I think the the the, the uh, formulas might have changed, you know, of yeah. how they make it. A lot of gum. The gum must have become yeah, I think, safer. Yeah, I think gum was quite popular. What do you think, Isha? I saw a lot of them were very sour. And, but overall, I see a lot of familiar ones from my childhood even. And even mom recognized a few that she liked. And she doesn't even like that that much candy and stuff. So, yeah. What do you think, Jen? I actually really liked it. I saw a lot of throwback candy, like Nerds Roll, Pop, Bottle Pop. I would always ask you for, to get them. And I just liked everything. And all the creative packaging that they did in this. And also... The variation that was in it, even though some was overlapping, I think this was really fun to do. Yep. So thank you so much for joining us today and watching the video and spending time with us. Yeah. I hope you had as much fun joining us and watching us eat all the candy as you did eating it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Tell us if you liked any of these candies and if you are willing to try them. Also, are any of these candies your favorites? Also, remember, if you can be anything, be kind. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.